I don't really know why my hair is in braids for this video, but I just felt like putting it in braids, so we're gonna be in braids. It's Slush Joan and today we are back at it with another tag video. This one is the writers not writing video. Um, I saw my friend Anne do this. If you've noticed the theme with all my tag videos, I kind of look at the tags that she's done and just do them for myself. Um, just as a way to come up with video ideas. So I will link down in the description Anne's video for this tag as well as the original person who created this tag. So both of those are down in the description. Make sure you check them out after this video is over. So this tag is just to get to know a little bit more about me. Um, I know with writing related content, doing a lot of writing related content here on AuthorTube, uh, it's really easy to kind of like not really know who the person is. So this tag is just to get to know a little bit more about me um, and the things that I do when I'm not writing. I was going through these questions and there is a similar tag I have already done, which is the, oh, what's it called? It's the, if I weren't an author tag. Um, so they're kind of similar, they kind of overlap in some places, but they also uh, ask some different questions. So there are 10 questions in this tag and let's go ahead and jump into it. Question number one, do you have a day job? And the answer for this is yes, I have a nine to five job that I do on top of writing, on top of reading, on top of all my hobbies. And for my nine to five job, I am a software developer, so I code stuff. Um, I majored in computer science in college and I like coding, so that is my nine to five job that I do on top of my side job, which is writing and uh, hopefully soon, no, it will be soon, April this year, I will be self-publishing my first book. But the answer is yes, I do have a day job. Question number two is, are you a reader? The answer for this is also yes. Um, I have a lot of books on my bookshelf that I um, am working my way through reading. I also have a bookshelf that is pretty much full of books that I have already read. So yes, I am a reader. I am currently doing a challenge where I'm challenging myself to read at least 10 pages every day. So right now, right before bed, I've been just like reading 10 pages or more of whatever book I'm currently reading at the time and just doing that right before bedtime. And it's been so nice getting back into reading. Um, I know last year I think I only read like six or seven books and this year I have already read three and it is only February and I'm just loving every second of it. And that brings us to question number three, what are your other hobbies? So my other hobbies include, and there's a lot of them, so hold on tight. Um, my other hobbies besides reading and writing include crocheting, my brain just went blank. <laughs> crocheting. Uh, I like to play music. I like to sing. Um, I'm currently helping out with my local community theater. I'm doing props backstage. Um, hopefully sometime soon this year or next year I can actually be on stage. That would be absolutely amazing, but I don't mind helping backstage at all. It has been so much fun. And then I also solve puzzles. I like jigsaw puzzles quite a bit. I'll like turn on YouTube or Netflix in the background and then just spend like hours working on a puzzle so much fun. I also really love baking and like cooking. I'm more so baking than cooking. Baking is just very like therapeutic for me so if I'm baking cookies I can kind of just like zone, get into the zone, bake cookies, turn some music on, dance around my kitchen and just kind of like it's just something that I can focus on without having to focus too much. I just really enjoy baking. Question number four, tea or coffee? Now if you asked me this like six months ago I would have said neither, hot chocolate because I'm not a coffee person. I don't like the bitterness of it. I've tried adding sugar, it still doesn't taste good. I like the smell of certain coffees. So like Michigan cherry coffee smells wonderful. Can't do the taste of it though. And again, last year I didn't like tea either. So I wouldn't have said tea, but I've started to drink tea. I'm not sure, it's still not my favorite thing in the world to drink, but I do enjoy some teas. And this past six months I've been like, trying a few different types of tea. So the first one is chamomile tea, which I uh, like it with a little bit of honey, but I can also drink it on its own. And then like an apple cider tea or an apple spice tea, cinnamon works as well. Um, and those are like the three main ones that I've tried. So if I have to choose between tea or coffee, I'm 100% choosing tea because I don't like coffee, but I will also probably pick hot chocolate over either of those. Question number five is what are you passionate about? And I'm gonna try to choose something that's not writing or reading because I'm very, very passionate about my writing, about my characters, about their lives, about, I'm so passionate about my side characters having their own lives and having their own story because everyone has their own story. Like whether, if you feel like a side character in somebody else's life, 
you have your own story. And that story may or may not deal with that, that, that main character that you think of yourself as a side character too. Your story might just not have happened yet, or it could have happened and it just hasn't been told. Like everyone has their own story to tell. And that's a big thing for me because for the most part of my life, I have been the side character in so many of my friends' lives. At least that's the way I feel about it. So I really try to make sure that all of my side characters in my books have their own story. So you'll notice once I start publishing a bit more in the upcoming years, you'll see side characters and they will have their own books. Like whether it's like a year or two later or a year or two before, you'll start seeing that. And like, that's my favorite thing about writing is my side characters. <laughs> I mean, as well as the main characters, but the side characters just like hold a special place in my heart. But besides writing, what else am I passionate about? Um, probably like music and theater um, and performing. There's just such a thrill about it. And it's just something that I can like put myself into completely. Am I the best performer? No. I get really bad stage fright if I have to perform alone in front of people. Um, I'm fine in a choir setting, I'm fine in the ensemble, but once you put me front and center, oh, it is a hot, it, it can be a hot mess. And I think it was like a week or two before my first piano recital, I was sitting in her office and we were like during lessons and I was just sitting there sobbing, like at the thought of performing in front of people, like it was that bad. And I have gotten a little bit better and it's not even my brain saying, you suck, you're gonna mess up. Like my brain knows I'll be fine. But my body doesn't, so my body is just like, all right, I'm taking control, you're gonna start shaking now, you're gonna sing all the wrong notes, your hands aren't gonna know what to do. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so besides writing, I'm very passionate about like music and theater and performing. I really wanna get back into that. Um, I've been thinking about revamping my second channel to do more like music content again, but I don't know if that's gonna happen because that takes a lot of time and a lot of practice to, and like a lot of recording to make sure that you get everything perfect in one take. It's a lot. Anyway, question number six is, do you have any pets? And the answer is yes, I have a fish and his name is Bato, the beta fish. <laughs> the reason I chose Bato um, is because I was either gonna get a blue or a red fish. And if I got a red fish, his name was gonna be Roku, like Avatar Roku from Avatar The Last Airbender. And if I got a blue fish, I was gonna try to do something from like the water tribe. There's Sokka, but he's not a bender, but he is still part of the Southern Water Tribe. And I was just thinking about all these names and I was like, Bato from the Southern Water Tribe. So I have a fish, his name is Bato. Uh, he is from the Southern Water Tribe. <laughs> Question number seven is what was your dream job as a child? I went through so many different dream jobs. I don't remember what I wanted to be when I was like a child child. I know at some point like I, like I wanted to be an astronaut and then I started thinking about like the space suits and I was like, nope, too claustrophobic for that. Um, and then after that, I wanted to be an Imagineer for Disney, like Disney's engineers that like design their rides and their roller coasters and do stuff like that. So I really wanted to be a roller coaster engineer for a long, long time. And then I got to middle school and I wanted to be an oncologist for a while and like do pre-med stuff and be a doctor. And I think the main reason for that was like every everything in my stories was like cancer related. Like that's a theme that kind of shows up through a couple of books. So I learned a lot about you know, different types of cancer in middle school. And like, I was really, really interested in that for a while, but it ended up not being what I wanted to do like as my job. It's just like, it's nice to learn about it on the side and read about it, but like not for a job. So then I switched back to be like, oh, I'll be an engineer, cool. Um, and then throughout high school, I was like, I'll be an engineer or I'll be a music teacher, but I would also like to just really be like a performer. So like uh, do shows and like be a singer and an actor and do all those types of things. Um, and then I was like, you know what? Now nah, I'll just be an engineer. And then I was dead set against go being like a computer scientist or being an IT person. And here we are, I'm a computer scientist. Uh, I'm a software developer, so yeah. And there is still a part of me that wants to like pursue music and like, or be a music teacher or do something in the music field. Um, but right now this is where we're at and who knows, it might change later, I might stay the same. You never know what the future holds. Question number eight is if you could live anywhere else in the world, where would it be? And you, this is just a very interesting question because I've never really thought about leaving my little area of the world. I've like always just wanted to live in the Midwest and just kind of live in the suburbs. Like that's, that's where I feel at home. If I had to live in the US, it would be in the Midwest somewhere. I like my four seasons. 
Um, but if I had to move to a different country, it would probably be like England or somewhere in like the UK, I guess. I'm one of those people that really doesn't know the difference. And I would feel comfortable moving there because, you know, people speak English. I would also feel comfortable moving to Canada. I have visited there. It's very pretty. Um, and I wouldn't mind moving there. I would also really not mind moving to Germany. I haven't visited Germany yet. I plan to sometime in the future um, because that is where my ancestors come from and I really just want to go and visit. Those are the three places that I would like think about moving to. Which leads us into question number nine. Do you speak any foreign languages? And the answer is kind of. <laughs> I'm about to embarrass myself here. Um, but in grade school from like third grade until sixth grade, we had to take four years of Chinese. Um, so I don't remember a lot. I do. I didn't retain much from year to year. I do know how to count to 10. And then everything after 10 is just adding um, like numbers together. So I can say hello and I can count to 10. And that's about all I can do in like Mandarin. Um, I'm not gonna do it on here. I don't want to embarrass myself that badly. I also took two years of Spanish in high school. Again, I don't, I didn't retain a lot, but like I know the very basics of it. And I'm sure if I went to go study it, it would, most of it would come back. And then in college, I took, I think it was like four semesters of German, <laughs> which was two more than we needed to take. So now I'll embarrass myself a little bit. So yeah, ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. Uh, my sentence structure is still very terrible, so I'm trying to think of sentences that I can actually say. I haven't spoken this in forever, so apologies um, to Anne for watching this video and any other German speakers out there. Uh, <laughs> but it's, it's, it, it's one of those things that you've got to practice, and I have not practiced speaking German in a while. Um, but ich heiße Celeste. Ich bin 23 Jahre alt. Oh, how do I say this? Meine Lieblings Jahreszeit ist Herbst? 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 Autumn? <laughs> Fall? <laughs> I really need to stop. I just need to stop while I'm, I'm... I'm not even ahead. I just need to stop at this point. So I took four semesters, uh, two years of German in college, and I learned quite a bit, and I haven't retained all of it, um, but I am still trying to like brush up on it every now and then. So that way when I do go visit Germany, I'm not the completely lost English-speaking American. Um, I do want... I, whenever I go to a place, I try to speak the the language. Uh, I went to Bulgaria with my choir. We learned Bulgarian in a week. Um, so I also know a little bit of Bulgarian. I mm, I don't know the numbers anymore. Oh, no, nope, wait, hold on. Bulgarian numbers. Edno, dve, tri, četiri, česet, deset. These are all out of order. Um, but I used to know how to count to ten in Bulgarian. Um, das ist ein is like nice to meet you. Ase kaz vam Celeste. Uh, so I can speak, I can still speak a little bit of Bulgarian. So short answer, very long. Yes, I know a couple foreign languages. No, I'm not fluent, but I, it's still nice to know just a little bit. And I'm sorry for all the native speakers who had to watch this and me just completely butcher the language. Moving on to question 10 is what music will we find in your collection? So I listen to a variety of music. The majority of it is musicals, I will not lie. The majority of the music in my um, YouTube music, because I don't have Spotify premium and I refuse to listen to Spotify on shuffle, the majority of my music in my YouTube music is musicals. Mostly because I listen to them when I'm driving long distances. Um, so basically anytime I go to see family, I'll listen to like two or three musicals and just sing out at the top of my lungs. On top of that, I listen to some indie music. So the main one being like Dodie Clark, um, Tessa Violet, things like that. But I also grew up on country music, so there's a lot of like 2000, 2010s country music in my playlist, as well as some some modern country, but not a lot. And I'm not the biggest fan of like pop music, mostly just because it's just not my thing, but it's also in my playlist sometimes. If I find like a song that I really enjoy, I tend to try to listen to everything, um, but like if I don't like something, I'll just skip it and you know, that's fine. For the most part though, I don't listen to like rap or R&B, um, but you know, that's again, it's just personal preference. There's some rap songs that I like, there's some that I don't. There's some country music I like, there's some country music that I don't like. It just, it all depends on the song. <laughs> and those are the 10 questions of this tag. I will leave them all in the description as well as Anne's video and the original creator's video for this tag. So go check those out if you would like to. If there are any tag videos that you guys want to see me do, leave those in the comments as well. I love like mass filming these and then having them all edited and ready to go for whenever I need a Wednesday video. So let me know in the comments 
any tag ideas or any tag videos that you would like to see from me. But that is all I have for this week's video. It is a bit of a long one. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you would like to see more content from me, and I will see you guys all hopefully next week. Bye!